write a C++ program to use DQ, double-ended Q from standard template library to find a string is palindrome or not. So in this program, we are using DQ available in standard template library of C++ and to find a string is palindrome or not. So DQ is a special Q data structure in which we will be able to perform the insertion operations at both front and rear. Similarly, deletion operations can also be performed at both front and rear. So in DQ data structure, element can be inserted and deleted from both front and rear. Now in order to check a string is palindrome or not, we insert each character of the string into the DQ data structure at rear. And as long as the size of the characters which is present in the DQ, if it is more than one, we take the element from both front and rear one by one and compare both are same. If they are not same, they can, we can say that it is not palindrome. If they are same, we keep on taking the element from both front and rear and check whether they are same or not. So in order to use the standard template library of C++, we include header file dq, hash include dq, To take a string from the user, we declare a variable which is named as st and two character variable a and b. We create an object for the dq class, the standard template library dq class. We create an object. The name of the object is obj. We take a string from the user in the variable st. Now each character from ST need to be inserted into the Q data structure, into the DQ data structure at rare. So in order to insert at rare, we have a method which is named as push back. So it will get inserted each character STI will get inserted at the back of DQ. That means at rear of DQ data structure. Now, in order to check whether the string is palindrome or not, we first initialize the value of a flag as one, an integer variable flag as one. As long as the size of DQ, if it is greater than one, that means at least two elements are present. So we take out the element which are there at front and back. Front will give the element which is present at front and back will give the element which is present at rear. So each character is stored in the variable a and b. We check whether a and b both are same. After storing the value of front and back into the variable a and b, we pop the elements which are present at front and back, which is currently kept in the variable a and b. We now compare the value of a and b. If both are not same, we make the flag as zero and stop the comparison process. We break from this while loop. Now outside the while loop, we check whether the flag is one or zero. If it is one, that means the string is palindrome. If it is zero, then it is not a palindrome. That means some of the characters are not matching.
So in this program, we are using RDQ for storing the characters through rare, we are inserting an element and while checking a string is palindrome or not, we take out each character from front and back and check whether they are same or not. If they are not same, we can say that it is not a palindrome to by making flag as zero. So if it is same, we keep on repeating the process. We take out the element from both front and rare and store it to the variable a and b and pop out the element and keep on repeating the process as long as the value of dq size is greater than one. So if it is a single character, there is no need of performing comparison. Thank you.